Hey, it's Kenton Sound. Today, I'm going to break down the original projects for BB's Vengeance. As you might already know, BB is probably the most famous female artist in Korean hip hop scene right now. After making waves with the song Vengeance and Casino, she hits her peak with Bamyang Game. <laughs> Producer The Need, who is part of our team, worked on some of our most iconic tracks like Vengeance and Casino. And today, we are giving you a look at the original project for this track. Also check this product on our website. The sources here are packed with high quality sounds and professional grade clock in chains, which I'm pretty much sure will give you tons of inspiration. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. The 808 bass in the verse has this deep and reverby and folk horror-like sound, right? This one sound alone feels atmosphere of this track perfectly. We've all heard that phrase, simple is the best. But what most people miss out is that simple is the best, but it's also the hardest part. Most amateur producers just grab a normal 808 out of supplies, but real pro, they went a step farther and gave a sound its own character. True pro actually keep it simple with fewer tracks, but with amazing sound. Every part of the track should fit perfectly into the concept of the song. And when you combine this 808 with flute root that runs through the song, you've already got this solid vibe with this minimum element. The 808 chain used here consists of seven plugins like distortion, reverb, and delay, and EQ, and more to really design the sound. So let me play the before and after. So this one is the before, the dry sound. And then adding the distortion. Texture of the distortion is the really important part too. And another distortion too. And then a little bit of low cut and high cut. And then imager plugin. And then a reverb. And a delay. And then another EQ. So I personally save this preset and use it when I'm crafting Unique 808. And now when the sounds shift for the chorus part, you'll notice that the biggest changes are in the drum and bass. The drums are hitting a Moombathon rhythm. So the producer that need use this kind of like Dembo style kicks, like this. And all kick sounds like this. So it's giving it that Latin vibe, right? Meanwhile, the bass moves like 007-ish suspenseful line. And one more key thing to know is that you can't just rely on the plugins to make your sound bigger. If you want to make certain part really huge like this kind of bass, layering different sound is the most likely to be an answer. So in this case, following the rule of layering is a game changer. If you're not familiar with this method, make sure to check out the tutorial video above. It's a cheat code for improving your track sound. So if you know the rule of layering, these basses are following that method perfectly. In this case, low and essence in one material, right? And then this one is gonna be the flavor material, right? And then more higher frequency material with more stereo field, right? During the bridge part, there's a sudden shift that completely changes the vibe. The secret to pull this off well, change the frequency of the theme. Throughout the 
the track, the theme is led by low 808 and high pitched vocal chop and flute. But then in the bridge, the theme moves to the mid range synth. This kind of contrast in the frequency range creates a noticeable change in the vibe. It's a small change with a big impact. And this is definitely one of the most important tips in the music production. So the original project for this track was made in FL Studio, but we've also made versions available for Cubase, Logic, and Ableton users. And don't forget to join our Discord for free project giveaways. We regularly give away our projects. So stay tuned for the next video where I'll dive into hit song from BB, a song Casino. Bitch, 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 bit